everyone, it's Sammy from Sammy Sweet Life and I have a big giant stack of top daily planners. Now, some of these go together. I'll have a few of each type of planner in here. So the stack looks surprisingly ginormous for what it truly is. There are quite a few that I'm showing you multiples of the same kind of thing. But I wanted to show you guys this big giant stack. It is all the way to the top and it has fallen over on my desk. So I'm gonna set it into two stacks and we will work on all of the daily goodness. I've got one honorable mention that I actually did not get until planner launch season for 2024. It goes along with my Sterling ink. So I really, really love the Tomoe River Paper Planners. I love that they're, you know, big chunky books, but they have monthly, weekly, and daily pages. This one happens to be undated. This is the Sterling ink. The pages themselves are dated, but the daily pages in the back are not dated. And you see that across many of these Tomoe River paper planners that kind of took a page out of the Hobonichi cousin and then did their own thing. Like this one is a very much gray scale. You can see I've got lots of Japanese practice throughout this, but everything on here is completely gray scale, no color whatsoever, except gray and black. That's it. So I love, love, love this planner. I did end up ordering quite a few of 2024s to share with you guys and to use throughout the year. I just happens to be one of my top favorite planners and I included it in here because it does have room for a daily page which is awesome because it has the weekly pages too and that's something you just don't see a lot of. Now if you want a Tomoe River paper style planner but you want those daily pages to actually have the dates on them, some people love it, some people hate it, you gotta go with Hobonichi. I feel like this is one of the very few that still has the actual dates on the daily pages. And while I love that, I love the way that this part looks, I do not like all of the color in here. And I've mentioned this and ranted about this in lots of planner videos. I am not a big Hobonichi cousin fan just because the Sundays always have that red. So you're looking at the monthly calendar, it has red. You're looking at the weekly spread, it has red. And then when you're looking at the full on monthly spreads, there's a boatload of red and that just totally throws me off. I did have another planner for, I think for last year, for 2022 that had red all over the weekends and I just hated it. And this one also has color throughout the pages. So this part's colored, the grid itself is colored, the quotes are colored. It's just too much um, color for this one. So I really just, when I saw the Sterling ink come out, I had to have one and I've loved it ever since. But this is the way to go if you want to date it daily page in the Tomoe River Paper Planner. Unfortunately, most Tomoe River Paper Planners don't have those dated daily pages. There's a few from Aura Estelle that do have those, but it's really just few and far between for that. So this is an honorable mention only because I do not like the color in it whatsoever, but Sterling Ink is definitely a top fave for me. And now on to that same vein, you can get daily planners from lots of companies that have dated pages. And this is from Agendio. I've got two different Agendio planners that I included daily pages in. And these ones do come dated and you can customize these however you want, which is really fun. So I'm gonna scoop things over so you can really see this. So I made this as like a self-care, fitness, wellness type of planner. And I customized all these little widgets. You can make them small, you can make them big, you can make them an entire column, you can add your own writing, you can add checklist boxes, you can make this header, whatever you want. You can change the colors. As you can see, the color changes in this book and it's completely customizable. Now I did add this coil. It is a rainbow coil from Pell Spiral. So that is different. It will come on a standard silver coil, but you can play around with these. You can get tabs, you can get no tabs. It's just so super customizable. Now this is a top tier price point planner, but it is such a great customizable one. If you want certain things every single day, you can map it out and plan it out exactly how you want it. And I love the way that they customize this. So this is a top planner fave for me. And now that's one layout. Here's a look at another type of layout. I put an hourly with different sections for checklisting. And I think again, beautiful. This one didn't happen to have tabs and I just love the customizability. Now they do come with this style of cover, like the plastic placemat type material and a cardstock piece. Well, I took those off. I just stuck an Erin Condren on there. And the reason I did redo this one was because I left off one coil. Like, see, there's a hole right there. The Erin Condrens are one coil smaller. So I wanted an Erin Condren cover on there. So I recoiled it, left off one spiral coil so I could stick an Erin Condren cover on it. So that was my little hack for using this, but I think their planners are just really 
some of the most customizable, if not the most customizable option out there. Going along those same lines with customizability, there is Plum Paper Planner. So I do have, again, an Erin Condren cover on this, the Plum Paper Planner coils for seven by nine and for A5 size fit the Erin Condren covers in both sizes. So I typically snip those covers off and stick on an Erin Condren unless I'm getting a hardcover. I've used the same hardcovers all year. I really, really like their hardcover versions, but I don't like the other cover versions that they offer. I just don't find them very nice and I love being able to change them out. So as far as customizability, you can change your start date. You can change your tab colors. They've got three different options. They have multiple different daily layouts and you can get them undated or dated. And this one happens to be a colorful one, but you can get these black and white now too. So this whole layout can be black and white and certain layouts you can toggle on if you want lines or no lines. So that's also a great option for some of the gridded style layouts. If you don't want the lines, you don't have to have the lines. This just happens to be a daily option that I picked. I chose my own little header so you can customize what headers are on the tops of all of these. And it's just a really nice customizable option. They are preset designs themselves like you can't change each section widget like this is always going to have the same box here the same three boxes here the same shaded box here it's all going to be the same layout but you have multiple options of different layouts and you can also add your own titles for whatever so i feel like it's a really nice customizable option they have eight and a half by eleven seven by nine and then also the a5 size which i'm showing here so they're just great great options and then going along I've mentioned Erin Condren multiple times. They also have a daily planner called the Erin Condren Daily Duo. So that also can come in different options. I've got seven by nines here. I'll show you what it looks like plain in the Franken plan and also in the A5 size. I actually grabbed the wrong thing. This is a compact vertical. <laughs> it's not the right one. So this one is the right one. This is a daily duo. So with this, you will get a full year and it's two books together. So just keep that in mind. Um, and then here is what it looks like. And depending on what color combo you pick, what color palette, you get different colored tabs. It also is on this top line. And then it also is on the monthly. So that color carries throughout the top of these pages. But I like this one. It's a very simple layout. You get your timed schedule. You get your to-do list. You get some extra room for notes. My main gripe with this, which a lot of the affiliates gripe about this, is this monthly calendar. I don't need it on every single page. I find that really redundant. Like looking at this two-page bed, I have two monthly calendars and it also makes this box pretty much unusable and also off kilter. So it's not symmetric. This thing just is taking up space, but not even half of the space. It's just unneeded completely. And I don't like those calendars even on weekly spreads, but especially on a daily spread, it really irritates me, so I will cover it up with stickers usually. But again, it's Erin Condren, toothy, beautiful, luxurious paper. I love their paper, and it's a great option. So I have a couple of options to share with you. This one's just, you know, the like floral pattern gives you the muted tabs. They also have a bright, colorful one. And then also this year, the neutral is a true neutral. So you get these nice gray colored tabs, which I love. So this is the seven by nine size, same exact layout, same exact format where you get the little bit of color on the top. And since this is neutral, it's a light gray. The thing with this is because I got the seven by nine, I can Franken plan it, which means take it off the coil, put different books together and then stick it back on a coil. So I did that. I took my Moxie Life Undated, stuck it in with the hourly. This is the EC hourly, stuck it in with daily pages. So I haven't used all of the daily pages. I set some of them up, didn't end up using all of them, but here you go. I cover up that calendar because I just cannot stand it on every page. It looks kind of silly though, like having this big box there to cover it up. But this is what it looks like in the seven by nine. And I like that size because then I can combine it with the other planners I've been using. And I've been using this pretty much half of the year now. So I made this one go all the way to December. And I really like being able to have my daily page with my weekly page and my goal setting pages all in one planner. So I do have videos on Franken planning if that's something that's a new concept to you. It isn't as hard as it seems. It's actually really easy to do if you have the right pliers. That's just an option when you get the seven by nine. If you have a seven by nine weekly planner, it works really well with that. So I love the Erin Condren Daily Duo and I love Erin Condren's paper. I love that they keep jobs in the United States as much as possible. They're just one of my top faves for sure in pretty much all categories. <laughs> I've got one more spiral bound and this is an honorable mention only because they are totally reformatting this daily planner and this is moxie life and again i stuck an erin condren cover on it but unfortunately it's like the agendio if you have the seven by nine planner it's one coil ring off but the a5 sides 
fits the Erin Condren covers perfectly. So I always switch out the covers most of the time, to be honest, most of the time I switch out the covers. So this one happens to be um, their format. And I don't know if they're gonna change this daily page itself, but they're changing the way that this planner works. Whereas this one has the weekly goal setting pages built into the planner with the weekly reflections. They said something about changing this right now. This is a quarterly planner. So it's something you buy, it's nice and big and beefy but it's a three month planner. I feel like a lot of people probably complained that you have to buy four of these in a year. And I don't like that. I like when it all comes together or it's like a six month planner at least. So they're totally reformatting this. And also a lot of Moxie Life people already have the weekly planner, the flagship planner or the companion notebooks or something that already has the goal setting pages in it. So they're moving in a different direction from this, but I put it as an honorable mention because it is still in their store and they have discounted these. So definitely check it out if you're interested in a daily planner from them. They are undated. You can see you have to put in your own date, but I really like the sleek, simpleness of this it has a place for scheduling but you can put in whatever times you want you can arrange the boxes however you want it's really formatted in a nice way so here's a look at me adding stickers to this and testing it out i really like the way that you can change this however you want on here so i just set it up how i wanted it and again love that it's customizable in your own way with stickers or with your own highlighting and stuff but i don't like that it's only three months so it's an honorable mention just because they have not come out with new ones and now i've got two options here for bound books if you are interested in something that is a nice clean bound book i've got a clever fox to share they have multiple different daily um, planner options. This happens to be a really nice beefy one from them. They have lots of different formats of these. I just really happen to like this one. And it's a very simple looking page. It's mostly schedule. It's got a couple of different priority and goal setting type things. It's got a nice to-do list. And then it gives you this little uh, scale that you circle. So I like this one. It's got lots of different colors in it for each month. It is, again, undated. So you have to put your own date. But I feel like it's a pretty robust one. And this one also has a weekly page. So you can do your habit tracking, weekly to-do listing stuff, and it also has some sort of goal setting stuff built into this planner. So again, they have lots of different options of these, but if you want a bound, nice size book, Clever Fox is a great one. They're really affordable and you do have a coupon code for a lot of these planners, but I know I have a coupon code for them too. All right, this next one is from Hemlock and Oak and I ended up putting their planner in a couple of different categories because I think as far as planners go, these are some of the most beautiful looking ones, just very aesthetically pleasing. I love that it's a bound book and all the ingredients and materials are just very beautiful. And I wanted to highlight this one because they do offer a dated daily option, which is pretty large and robust. So this is the undated and it's a six month planner. It does have some goal setting stuff in the beginning. So there's quite a bit of it that's like monthly reflections and monthly overviews. Before you get to all of the uh, undated daily pages. Now the dated version is a full year, whereas this one's six months with extra goal setting type stuff in it. This one is the full year and I did get this one for 2024. I need to zoom out a little bit. I did not realize how zoomed in I was. So this one happens to be a full year of those daily pages and this one is fully dated. So every day of the week is in this book and it's a big, robust, beefy planner. I love the way that this one looks. It's got the bookmarks, it's got the beautiful bound book. It's all grayscale on the inside, so it's nice and neutral. And I just think it's beautiful. It has a lot of stuff built into it, but if you don't want to use any of these checklists or the schedule, you can totally just make this your own. The hourly thing is the darkest spot on here. And these checklist boxes just kind of blend in. So if you don't want to use those checklists, you can totally make this whatever you want. It just has the little sections at the top that you can work with. And I just think it's a lovely, lovely planner. If you want to work on some evening journaling for 2024, I do a little bit of journaling right now, but it's not a, like a set in stone every day at a specific time thing. But I would like this to be part of my wind down routine. It's just adding a little bit of journaling in here. Maybe do some journaling prompts. I've shown this in the walkthrough video I did of these actual planners, because this is one of my newest planners I received recently. So that walkthrough should be up on this channel already. And if not, it will be coming very soon because I just, just filmed it. Um, but I think it's just a beautiful option. As far as a dated planner goes, their option's really nice. And also they have an undated version, pretty much the same thing without dates and it's just half a year. So if you want something a little bit less uh, robust, you can do the half year. 
as well. So that's just two beautiful daily options. Last but not least, I have two O-wire planners. And now this is one of the categories of planners that I may end up completely doing away with for the future. I have a few 2024s in the O-wire and I think possibly for 2025, I'm gonna say no to O-wire planners altogether. I just do not like it as far as the orientation of it. I like bound books because they're nice and beautiful and look great on the shelf. I like spiral bound like so. You can use interchangeable covers on, you can Franken plan them together really easily. These books are the least desirable style books for me, but I have two that I actually really liked as far as dated planners go for 2023, Sprouted Planner and also the Ashley Shelley. So I haven't used Ashley Shelley very much. This was my first year diving into Ashley Shelley and also my first year diving into Sprouted Planner. So I did end up reaching out to various planner companies and one of the planner companies I did reach out to was Sprouted Planner. I just really liked everything that they did and this is no exception to that. So this dated daily is a little bit different from other daily planners. A lot of times they will have a to-do list and an hourly schedule on the dated page and that's it. Well, this one has a lot of extra little bells and whistles on the page. And again, very neutral. The only color is the cover and also the tabs. The tabs are colored. And this one's totally unique and different. It's got various different areas for things, a little grayed out box down here. You can do a lot with this layout. And I find much like the Moxie Life layout, it's completely customizable with stickers or with your own highlighted headers, whatever you wanna do. You can also change it from day to day, so you don't necessarily need stickers to alter this, but you can do any kind of tracking or metrics with the grid, you've got the checklist boxes, you've got a completely open space on various little places for various things, you've got a top three, dedicated checklist here with hourly schedule. There's just so much going on on this page, but it still doesn't feel cramped and busy and too much. It's not overwhelming or anything. It just has a nice, simple, streamlined look to it, and it still gives you a lot of room for a lot of things. So I find that this daily is a really great option. This happens to be a 2023, but it's very similar layouts for 2024. And then last but not least is the Ashley Shelley, and I totally got sold on this one because I loved the cover and I loved the bright tabs. Now this one I found in practice was a little bit harder for me to use because it is a little bit more boxed off. So. I did make the Moxie Life one boxed off with stickers where this one has the boxes already and then I'm like, what am I supposed to do with it? <laughs> Which makes no sense, but this one was hard for me to use. It has the timeline schedule. You have to put in your own times for that. It gives you plenty of checklist space, a nice lined place for notes. The weekend, oh, I didn't mention that. The weekends for the Sprouted Planner also are the same way where they're combined onto one page. You can see it's just a little bit different. And same with the Ashley Shelley. The weekend's a little bit different. The only pop of color you have on these pages is the heart and it matches whatever month you're in. So this one's pink because the previous month was pink and then it moves into this current color in April was purple. So it just has the tiniest little pop of color and I really like the bright tabs on this one but I found that this one feels a little bit more constricted because of the box area but it's still just a nice mostly grayscale layout and I feel like it will appeal to quite a few people because it has all the things. It has the schedule space, the to-do list space, some note space, and then also some space for whatever customization you want. I feel like this would be great breakfast, lunch, dinner. Like super easy for that. And then on the weekends it is stacked, but you still get everything. You still get the checklist, the schedule. It's just a little bit smaller version of mostly the same thing. Not as much note space, but you still have these three open boxes on each weekend day. Play around with that layout, I think quite a bit, but that is, and for this look at daily planners, I ended up outlining a ton of these guys this time. I feel like of all the categories, this is the one where you find most variation and most interesting layouts. Each planner company does their own version of the same thing with a little bit of a twist. So I wanted to highlight a lot of ones that I felt like had a lot of goodness to offer. I showed you a lot of different types of binding and things so you can choose what kind you like. And I hope that you guys like this look at all of the top favorite dailies. Believe it or not, I did get more than I'm showing here to review and talk about this year. So this is just my chunk of like the top faves, the honorable mentions, the ones that I feel like stand out and have a little bit something special. So I hope you guys like a look at these planners and talking about the pros and cons. If you wanna see any of them in more detail, I do have videos linked in the description box. I also have coupon codes and affiliate links and all that. So if you 
are interested in any of them, definitely check out those walkthrough videos. And if you purchase, I would love for you to click through my links so that I get credit for the purchase. It doesn't change anything on your end. It doesn't make your price higher or anything, but it gives me a percentage of the sale so I can put that back into content for you guys for this channel. It definitely helps me grow this channel. I'd really appreciate you guys if you use those affiliate links. It really helps me out. So that's all I've got for you guys today. Like, subscribe, follow me along, and I will catch you next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.